everybody. Welcome to Different Lens. Uh, this is uh, a new show, a brand new show, and I have a very, very, very good uh, guest here today um, with over 550 videos, 3 million likes, 30 million likes, sorry, and 1.6 million subs on TikTok. Uh, he's one of the funniest creators that I've seen. Um, Jose Estrada, also known as Brown Bakugo, welcome to the show. Wow, hey, hey, you looked that up? Wow, that was awesome. I didn't even know any of that. <laughs> the 550 videos. I was yeah. like, wait a minute. <laughs> that that doesn't sound, wow. Well, it's it's actually 556. I had to do the math. Yo, wow. But thank you for looking that up. I, I, I heard 550 and I was like, where's he going with this? I don't, I don't think I have anything <laughs> there yet. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Dang. Wow. <laughs> Damn, I'm proud of myself now. Uh, right? <laughs> That's at least a little bit of an accomplishment. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let me just get on right in with, with the questions. Uh, the first one, um, I know it's it's a bit of a sensitive topic to most people uh, when it comes to um, a disability. And I know that you've um, made it into a very, like a part of your identity, not only as a creator, but just as a human being that to live with your disability, to be proud of your disability, to make it work for you, not against you. Um, and if you could j just talk us through it, um, how, how has that impacted your life of, you know, trying to be positive despite that um, very difficult circumstance? And if you can talk to us about your disability specifically. Oh yeah. Um, well, thank you again, and thank you for uh, thank you for wording it so gracefully. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's definitely been like a learning and growing experience with it. I mean, obviously, like you know, you have so many different stories, so many different backgrounds. I I like I, like I told you once. Uh, up until I was twelve, I was able to walk completely, totally, normally fine. And up until I was twelve, I was paralyzed. And that completely changed my life and it changes the way you see the world, how everything works, you know, out of nowhere, something can just happen. And it really, it really kind of shows you how to appreciate the little things, you know, because you never really know when some of that's going to go away. And w when I was younger, you know, I kind of, I kind of went through it. I was a little bit about like, what's the point, you know, like there's nothing to do. I, I didn't know anything about like what goes on after that life, but, but, I was very lucky. My parents took me to like all these disabled sports programs and all that stuff. And that's where I met all these amazing people, all different disabilities, all different backstories. And they're just so amazing. And they, I, I learned it from them. Like so many of them made it a part of their identity and their life. And they didn't, they didn't let like, they didn't let the stereotypical, like, Oh, you're disabled. That's so sad. Like, no, that was not their life. They were like, no, I'm, this is me. This is who I am. Don't feel bad for me. I do my own thing and I do it good. You know, like when someone's playing like basketball, tennis, any, any sport you can think of, and they're out there doing their thing socially, like, you know, and I, I don't know, like I, I fell in love with it. I loved all of their confidence. I, I, it rubbed off a little bit on me and that's, that's what, that's what really helped me grow. And, and then, yeah, coming to TikTok and doing all this stuff, like, uh, it's it's funny because like as you see most of the videos i spend time in my car so people don't really get to see that side of me and mm -hmm. then i'll do a video of me cosplaying and then they'll be like whoa what like i didn't know that and then the reactions are always the best like my, my girlfriend and my friends are always showing me and i'm like yeah i, I see them <laughs> they're just like wait whoa i didn't know you were like that and i'm like like what <laughs> you can tell me <laughs> i i really it's just it's all it, it's it's all fun now but but yeah, it, it, it comes with, it comes with time. It comes with learning about who you are and what you want to be, really. So, but yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Thank you. And and uh, it's it's a very rewarding thing to see somebody that it's very positive. It's very you know energetic about who they are uh, without any sort of judgment, any sort of like just living life um, to the fullest. Also, it connects to my second question. And is I see that you do a lot of activities. Uh, you told me you do hiking. Uh, I see you play basketball. I see you uh, dance. There was a video of, of you dancing. Uh, and, and I've seen some videos of you on TikTok doing like uh, some ther physical therapy with your arms and throwing uh, medicine balls and all that. So I just wanted to ask how many like how active is your life um, on a regular basis? Mm. Uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't call it dancing. Moving around awkwardly, sure, <laughs> dancing. <laughs> I, I try, I try. But no, uh, 
no, I, uh, uh, my, my, uh, my family's always been big on like, on like sports and just being physical and stuff like that. And I, I personally, I just love it, you know, like, um, yeah, basketball, tennis, hiking, whatever I can do. And honestly, like I do blame anime for like the whole, like, you know, you got to push your limits and go beyond. And right. Right. Stuff. I blame you for it too. You're part of the problem. All of Me. It. Like, plus ultra, <laughs> your guys voice at all of it. It's all, it's all ingrained in my head. Like I see a mountain and people will say like, Oh, there's no way he can climb it. And I'm like, Oh, you guys are treating me like a Deku or like a, someone that can't do it. So they got to push past and go for it. And, and yeah, it's just, it's just always part of it. And like, and yeah, like anime, superhero movies, all of it, and then just me as who I want to be. Like, I just I just like to stay active, and I and I think it's really inspiring when I see like anyone with a disability doing something that you know a lot of people think that oh you know can they do this? Like, you know, it's really it's really up to them. And yeah, I don't I try not to I try not to put a limit on myself, and I hope that other people's don't don't do that too. You know. I want to get into your social media presence. And how big of an impact you've had, not only on anime watchers, but, you know, any kind of person that just has a, a, a kind of like a strife in their life and, and that want to get past it with with very like uplifting uh, content. Um, and my question is, like, when you started doing the TikToks of the main trio for My Hero Academia, how did you come up with the voices? How come, how did you realize that you could do those voices? And how like how much of a hijinks do you think that they should get into on a regular basis as those characters? <laughs> oh my god. Uh it is uh I will <laughs> it was the happiest accident of my life to find out that that I could like kinda do the voices and then what it became after that. Um uh Bakugo's voice was sort of so I can impress my girlfriend because she's a huge Bakugo fan. Oh and uh you know, she she likes his crazy nature and all that stuff. She's really into like the blonde and angry guys and <laughs> obviously that's not me. Right, so right. Like, well, no <laughs> no, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to replicate that. But I saw his voice and I was like, Oh, okay. Let me see if I could try that. It took a while and like I just you know, I, I found it and that was that was fun. Baku was the first one I could do. Then I, I went to Midoriya's and for a while I was just doing Bakugo and Midoriya's voices for a couple videos. And then like I was like, man, I gotta give Todoroki some love. I haven't I, I haven't thought of anything to do with him. And for some reason, like it was I don't know, I was I was doing some videos and I was I was getting tired of like a routine of doing it. And I saw this comment and it just said like, Can you do like Deku or can you do Midoriya gets pregnant? And I was like, whoa, whoa, that is, that is, that is not, I've never done anything like that. And I was like, okay, well, my videos aren't getting views right now. It was a little, it was a bit of a slow week, but I was like, yeah, my, my videos are getting views. Maybe I'll do this one and it'll slide under and no one will see it. And I was like, oh, let's make Todoroki the doctor. And what's he going to do? And he's just going to be like, oh, this and that. And, and I like, I know Todoroki's like a socially awkward character. And I don't know how that turned into him kind of being all like not the smartest guy in the room in my in my TikTok. Right. And then uh, and then, yeah, it just sort of happened. And now Todoroki basically does whatever he wants. I assume he uses Endeavor's money to get wherever he wants. <laughs> and, and and yeah, like that that video is what made me think that I was like, wow, I could get away with anything. <laughs> right. Just do any video. And that led to Toto Strip me, uh, Todoroki being a stripper and all that. And it just, yeah, it, it, it's been an accident, man. A lot of this has been a huge accident, but it's just been having fun with it. <laughs> now, a question that I know that I'm going to, uh, like, uh, the audience is going to kill me. Whoever sees it is going to kill me. If I don't ask, is is Icy Thought on Thursdays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sad. Uh, yeah, that, that's me, dude. And I know, I know I'm, uh, like, that's the thing. Like, I've known, I told, I told my friends and my family, I'm like, dude, I know I've made it because of what you told me that, like, you get people in your panels ask you, like, hey, like, is it Icy Thought on Thursdays? And you're like, Wait, what's this, what's this thing that's going around? And that's where I'm like, dude, we've made it. We've done it. We've actually gone full circle and it's amazing. And like, yeah, I, again, like, just a, another, like, happy accident and, like, the, 
<laughs> but when I thought I could get away with Midoriya being pregnant, and then I saw Todoroki be a stripper, and I was like, okay, this is like, you guys just want to see like the weirdest stuff, and I'm happy with that. Right. And obviously, I was like, oh, Bakugo calls him icy hot. Okay, icy hot stripper. Once you think about it, it's not that genius. Right. <laughs> it's really just taking a letter out and putting it there, but. But yeah, I was like, oh, I see. And then he's like, it's I see thought. On th-. Like, and when I first said it, because that was the first time I said the line and I did crack up at the end of it. And I kept the cracking up because I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm saying this and I'm going to post it. So that was me like thinking about it like, oh, my God, I'm actually going to post this. And I did. <laughs> and that, yeah, I don't I don't know why that's my most viewed TikTok. I really don't. <laughs> and, it, and it's really funny because it's it's permeated into other people's TikTok. Like I saw uh, Eleanor Shoto. Uh, she, she just had, a, I believe her husband bought her like, uh, um, the mouse pad and yes. it, and it has Todoroki's butt, like really big. And ev- like, I, I just kept reading comments, like, I see thought, I see thought I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a dynamic that, uh, we have a kind of like a set of questions, uh, from one to 20. And I would just love to ask you for three numbers from one to 20. Okay. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. <laughs> three number. Wait, wait, wait. Just right now, three numbers from one to twenty. Three numbers from one to twenty. Uh, seven, fourteen, uh, two. Uh, so okay, <laughs> we're gonna go with number seven. Uh, do you regret anything about your industry, meaning TikTok? Um, but anything that I, I mean, when when I in the grand scheme, I can't regret anything. I've been, I'm in a. I'm in a really good place right now from it. Um, I mean, I, I don't regret anything from it. I, I know I've made it. I like, like you said, <laughs> I didn't know 550 videos, something like that. So mm-hmm. I've definitely made it my life for a little bit now. Um, yeah, like I and, and I hear that there's there's a couple problems with any platform, really, you know. But I mean, for me, like I, I've been I've been lucky to do what I like to do, and and it's uh, you know some videos do good, some videos don't do good, but that's not up to me. That that's up to whatever you know the app chooses to push out you know um i know that there's i know that there's some complaints here and there about like people's videos not reaching their audience like the Mm -hmm. audience they already have Mm -hmm. i know that is a thing i know that's something that i struggle with sometimes too like like a lot of creators do but it's you know you know at the end of the day it's like you're try to i try to do this because i love doing it you know i'm not gonna try to make videos that i don't want to do to to get views that i don't need you know so i just um yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with, with, with TikTok as a whole and what it's done for me. So, Cool. Awesome. Now, uh, we're going to go right on to number 14. What's a misconception about your job? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, mine, mine in particular is that, that I live in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I mean, every video that seems to do well, I'm in my car. I'll see them and I'm like, this dude lives in there. He doesn't get out of it. And I'm like, I, I, I really do. <laughs> I do <laughs> shower, you know, and like <laughs> yeah, I have to shower. Yeah. Well, no, that that's true. I don't shower. <laughs> that is <true>. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, that, uh, I actually don't do that. No, but uh, but yeah, no, that and um, I guess that uh, one of the misconceptions is that like it doesn't take long. I do. I do hear some people say that like uh, they're like, oh, you just do videos, right? It's so easy and you're just in your car. So like. You, you get those videos done in like 30 minutes, right? I'm like, no, I'm usually there for like three hours to four hours. And that's just one video. Right. So if I try to post like three videos in a day, that's like, uh, it, it's a lot of planning. It's a lot of scheduling. And it's a lot of writing ideas down. Th- there's so much work that goes into it. And I'm sure you know, too, just from making videos. And I, and I saw your vlog, too. And I was like, yeah, as someone who makes videos, I see your vlog. And I'm like, that that takes weeks to do. Not only the, the time you're there to the editing to all the decisions you want to put in that video and then someone will see him like oh that was a five minute video that must have took like what 20 minutes you know to make like it's just i I feel like that's one of the biggest misconceptions is that even with tiktok too it's like oh those are like one minute videos those shouldn't take long to make at all so right right that and that's something that like when when uh in in production uh they say that one edited minute takes around like an hour or so so yes Okay, so we're going to go with a number two. Uh, who do you think is the greatest actor or actress? Oh, wow. 
Oh no. <laughs> it could be like it could be film, it could be anime, it could be, you know, whatever you'd like. I don't I oh, man, I'm not I'm not good with these kinds of questions. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> the best like it, 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 and this this is just me, right? This isn't like what people think is No, no, no. It's it's you specifically, yeah. Uh, I, I will say I will say I love Hugh Jackman since mm. a kid from like going on. Hugh Jackman's one of my favorite actors. Uh, uh, yeah, like e every time he's in a movie, uh, he never really phones it in. He just gives it his all. It, and, you know, it, it, I, and I think he's just super talented from mm -hmm. like musicals uh, to like Wolverine to like dramas to like he's just he's just a multi-talented dude. And, he, you know, you know, he gives it his all. So I will say Hugh Jackman. Plus, I watched X-Men a lot growing up. So. Nice. That, that has some influence. Well, funny thing is that uh, Logan is my favorite uh, superhero film of all time. There you go. That's that's and, and it, that's yeah. It's it's a great movie, even as a superhero movie. It's just a amazing movie on its own. It's, uh -huh. Yeah. You know, we never get here to we are to where we are alone. Uh, so I I kind of want to go back to those people that help us and and push us to become better people, better professionals. You know. So I have uh, four little questions. And the first one is, who is the person that you thank for, for getting you into either TikTok or any other industries that you might uh, be known in? I mean, well, for, for in, in terms of like the industry, well, well for one, my parents, that, that my parents aren't for the industry, but they, they've always encouraged me to do what I want to do, despite mm -hmm. having the disability or anything like that. They, you know, they never said like, oh, you're going to have to get a job in a desk and, and work like a and work the nine to five and do, do something that's accessible for you. I'm like, no, they were never like that. They knew I've always wanted to do something with film, with the industry, anything like that. And they, they were always super supportive with the, with the industry. Um, I, I do, I do have to thank Brad Lambert. He, um, like, he's my manager. He helped me out with, uh, he helped me out, uh, when I was at around 200, 300,000 followers, uh, he gave me a call um he helped me he gave me advice on, on how the industry worked uh, he he motivated me to he just gave me he gave me all this belief in myself that i was like oh hey man by the way people are watching you and i never really thought about how like tiktok worked like that i thought i was just making videos i did see that i was getting a little bit of a following mm -hmm. but i didn't really put it in a perspective of how how many eyes were on tiktok and, and yeah, he had told me, he's like, yeah, man, I see you and uh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you meet some people or talk to some people. And as it goes like that. And uh, I also I also had the great fortune to like uh, talk to uh, Tina Cummins, Christina Cummins. And I'm not sure if you've actually spoken to her yet. I, I think she might have said she, eventually, I, eventually you will you will know who she is. And OK, I'll just leave it like that. If you haven't heard the name, you probably will soon. OK, OK. <laughs> but uh but but yeah, I, I I talked to her. Um, she's been amazing. We've been talking about how hopefully this year I'll be flying out to some conventions and doing some panels. Mm. So who knows? You know, I, actually, me and you might be on. You know, I and that's just. Hey, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. I'm excited, man. <laughs> I I just that's I didn't know this could happen from from a platform from tiktok and stuff like that and obviously I, i've know you i've known you've seen it too like sofia gomez for an example too she's up there killing it in all these conventions and panels and i saw and i saw that i saw like those videos of all of you guys playing like board games together with kyle phillips and rico Fajardo, and i'm like wow this is so <laughs> so amazing like i i can't believe it you know what i mean like right. it's worlds colliding tiktok anime voice acting it's all it's all it's all there and, and yeah, it's just amazing. And, I, and I've been lucky to, to get to where I've gotten and, and getting the calls from those people and then just being able to do this. So that is awesome. I like to thank those people, basically. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Now, the second question, I, I guess you kind of answered it already, is who has been the person that has supported you the most? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My 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 parents and my girlfriend have been have been the most supportive. Um, yeah. Uh, when when. And obviously, you know, too, when, when like when like going when going for something like this, the beginning is always the hardest part, because that's when you deal with a lot of the people that think like, why, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. You know, like there's no there's no success there. Right. There's no there's no career there. You know, there's no you know, and, and that's unfortunate because, you know, you can believe in yourself as much as you want. But if you 
if you surround yourself with people that don't have the confidence in you that you have in yourself, it, it can be challenging, you know, but I, uh, but I was very lucky to have my parents who always supported me. Uh, my girlfriend, who was just always like super helpful with everything. She sometimes shows up in my videos too, which is awesome. So it's like, it, it helps out a lot. It, it's helped me out so much to do that. And now like, you know, and for the people that, you know, I've had friends tell me that were like, Hey man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought you were full of shit. <laughs> mm. I didn't think you were going to be able to do it. And now right. you're here and you're doing it. And you know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll watch me now. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me a follow now. Or you're at it. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're here now, but you know, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. And I'm sure that that's the same, same thing for a lot of people that try this out. Right. Okay, so the third question is, uh, what song reminds you of your youth? Of my youth? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> no, this is, okay, it came, to, it came to my mind first, but it's not going to make any sense. Uh, did you ever play Donkey Kong 64 growing up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. That's perfect. At least we got it. Uh, there, there's a rap in the beginning of the game, the, the Donkey Kong rap, basically. Um... Uh, yeah, you look puzzled. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. It's been it's been a long time. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the link. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> you, you probably don't want to see it. Uh, it's uh, no, it's just it's Donkey Kong and his friends. They're doing a big rap, and uh, again, it, it's very cringy now that I think about it. But it's a big part of my life. And uh, when when I was a kid, like I think like three Christmases in a row, I would put the the rap on and I would dance in front of my family. Mm -hmm. And that's when my family probably guessed it that like this, this kid's gonna want to do something with like film or something right there. Yeah. Like he, he has to. And and yeah, that that song is always played around in my head. I still listen to it any every now and then. It's a, it's a bop, man. It's a bop. It it really <laughs> is. It, it sounds like it is from from your account. I I, I don't remember. <laughs> and the last one. Um, if you can talk to your younger self, what would you tell that person? Um, it would. I, it, it always goes back to just, I would always tell him to never give up, you know, like, and, and, and as cheesy as it is, like, I, I feel like it's the simplest thing, but it's the thing we need to hear. It's like, no, don't, don't give up, like chase your dreams. Don't, don't ever think you can't do it, you know? Cause you know, has, and this has nothing to do with disability. It's just anyone in life. You know, you think like you're, you're not, you're not where you want to be. You think you need to be somewhere else. And it's like, no, you know, I like, tell yourself that it's okay and it's okay to have it's okay to fail here and then you know like I, i've been i've been trying to do something with social media with anything for a while now and it didn't always go well you know up until tiktok this is the first real success that i've had but other than that it's just i would tell them you know just just keep trying you know not and i and i think i did a good job of, of trying as time went on but there's definitely points in my life where I was like, yeah, no, like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'll be able to, I'm getting older. Uh, you know, maybe people were right. Maybe I won't be able to do it at, at best. At those points, I probably would have slapped myself and be like, Hey, get it together, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm from the future. I know, I know you did good. Okay. So get on it. <laughs> right. For sure. For sure. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, for taking the time to be with us. It's, it's truly been eye-opening on many, many fronts, not only a success story, not only like your kindness and your ability to just move past uh, things. And I think that's very, very, um, first of all, strong and something that we do need in the world right now because, you know, everybody is a little caught up with their own stuff and taking themselves a little too seriously to look past mm -hmm. their own nose, you know. So uh, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. Uh, I don't know if you have any future things that you can talk about that, that, you know, may, you, you may want to plug. Uh, well, well, for, like I said, one, we will, I mean, who knows, man, who knows I, at this point, I don't really know where, where TikTok is taking me, but I will be, I will be flying out to some conventions as a guest. So that'll be really fun. Um, I, I will be doing panels. That's all I really know for that. And I, of course, uh, YouTube and Twitch, I will be. I will be starting that real soon. It's it's all gonna be Brown Bakugo, and I'm stuck with that name, <laughs> you know. And I I like it now, but when when it started, I you know only only my two close friends will really know how that name came up, and I'm not gonna tell anyone. <laughs> right, right, right. But but I mean that's how it happened, and I'm really stuck with it, and we'll always laugh about it because we're like, dang, 
that really just became my handle now. Right. I'm literally looking at uh, 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 my mom framed the poster of my Hot Topic thing, and it says Brown Bakugo down there. And I'm like, yep, I don't even have a name anymore. <laughs> my TikTok <laughs> name now. But, uh, but, yeah, uh, but, yeah, the panels, the Twitch, the YouTube, I mean, that, that's, all, that's all happening soon. I'm super excited. And, again, you know, who knows, man. I can't wait for the day that we see each other in person, too. You know, that, that'll be awesome. I know. I hope to, hope to do something, you know, hope to start voicing outside of my car, you know, right. <laughs> maybe in the studio one day. Yeah. Yeah. For but, sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, I hope, you know, everything goes well with you and, uh, thank you everyone that is here. Uh, we're going to be posting in English Fridays. Uh, so, you know, stay alert with that and, uh, thank you. I hope you have a good day. 